Okay, so who do we have here? Jesse Cotton. My name is Jesse Cotton. I'm a three-time world championship competitor, two-time YCS champion, UDS champion, with over 20 Premier Event Top Cut finishes. I think over 50 regional tops at this point. Okay, Jesse, how are you doing today, man? Doing all right. Listen, Jesse, our last video blew the heck up. How do you feel about that? Uh, it's a good video, so I'm you, happy about it. Bro, you, yo, you messing me like, Sam, this is the biggest video I've ever done. Previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, well, so, so it's possible. Uh, That's your number one challenge, to summon Halakti with one Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> I have another challenge for you. Easy, let's get it done. Okay, Jesse, what's your full name? Jesse Cotton. Yes, but today your name is Jesse Impossible. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sam. Here you go. Five cards, I'll just take a quick guess. This is Exodia. Exodia? Wait, wait, wait! So you like bosses like Exodia, huh? Raid Shadow Legends! With over 500 champions to collect, each designed to kick ass. You remember Silverfang? This is him on a stim pack. Brachis the Shifter. One of the hardest hitting champions in the game. Campaign, PvP, dungeons, and faction wars. You see this boss? That's the Fire Knight. Basically, Lava Golem turned human. I'm trusting my buffed up Silver Fang, Brachis the Shifter, to do the job. One of the scariest bosses in the game, hands down. So a little backstory on the Lava Golem looking dude. Fyro was once a proud knight of Volcar, but he committed regenocide at a peace summit with the Frost King and was bound by his own people to guard Volcar's treasures. So how do you make Volcar's treasures into your own treasures? Hits, hits, and more hits! This month, Raid just released a ton of amazing new clan features and improvements. There are brand new quests for you and your clan members to work on together, new benefits for every clan member just for being in a clan, and even a brand new clan shop that gives you access to some incredibly powerful items. So guys, join my clan! This month's also got a new champions to collect from Fragments in the Doom Tower, and a load of events and competition to take part in. And to help all of you get a head start in the game, I got you covered. If you go to the video description, click on the link, you get a free epic champion, Shonoru. God damn, she fine! Plus, 200k silver, 1 EXP boost, an energy refill, and an ancient charge so you can summon an awesome champion. All these bonuses will be waiting for you here, so hurry! It's only available for the next 30 days. So what are you guys waiting for? Click on the link in the description box below and download Raid Shadow Legend today. Can you summon Exodia with one card? Yeah, of course. Uh, wait, wait, are you being, have you done it before? Um, I did something similar but very cool for Triff a couple years ago. But I actually have one rule. So you need to have all five pieces of Exodia in your hand, only using one card, but you cannot use the six samurais you used in the last video. Sure. Ah, that's easy. I'll just, uh, I'll keep stuff fresh. Don't worry. First thing to search, nice and easy, forbidden one cards. We get all five pieces to win the game. The absolute best cards to pull this off, if you've seen any other Glory videos, Treasure Panda featuring Firewall Dragon. Come on, easier to FTK now this card's not banned, even though it was errated. I have to figure out a way to get to Ice Sold plus a level four on field. So one thing that has also changed, Firewall. It's now it's a hard one for your turn. So I need two more way to add two more Exodia pieces to my hand. One from the deck, one from the grave. So okay, I think there's an easy solution to adding the the head dragon monsters. That's easy enough. I have I have extra spells for Treasure Panda. I need warriors to start off with. So there's a couple cards that are really good with warriors. I already had the tour guide last time. So what else is good? Stratos, Bubble Man. This can probably get a poly out of it too. Ooh, that's actually nice because Vion gives me another spell to discard for to banish for Treasure Panda. I need other equip spells, so I can Noble Arm. Uh, so I'll need a Herbatic Seal for the Brotor. It gives me another spell for Treasure Panda as well. So, okay, I'll have a lot of free monsters here. I still need to figure out how to add my fifth Exodia piece to mine. I have three for Fire, while one for Brotor. What's a good way to search it? Uh, maybe there's something I can do with Aqua Fibrax. It's a good rank one I can use. I think it's the. This lets me add any Wing Beast. Oh, you know what I can do? Is I can summon it and return it to my field with a Kasha condition. Okay, this is coming together pretty well, and so far I have no shortage of extra deck cards as well. Something that you often struggle with in these combos run out of cards in the extra deck. Honestly, just enough. The rest can be whatever I desire. 
and some blue ice cards, because why not? All right, easy, done. For starters, we got Hero Lives. Uh, everyone loves heroes, so pay some tribute to them. And they are definitely strong enough to get it done. Okay, Jesse, how do you start? So, we use Hero Lives. It's our starting card. So we pay, if we control no monsters, pay half our life and just summon a elemental hero from our deck. Of course, Stratos. And we get our best friend Stratos. Yep. So when Stratos is summoned, I can add any hero from my deck to my hand. It can be any hero, not just elemental hero. And we all get Vision Hero Vion. Are you sure? Are you sure I can add Vision Heroes to that? Yes. Wow. Amazing. So Vion says when it's summoned, I can send a hero from my deck to the graveyard. And then also says once per turn, I can manage a hero from my graveyard to add Polymerization from my deck to my hand. So I will be using the first effect when summon to send, and I'll send Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. So Shadow Mist says, when it's sent to the graveyard, I can add a hero from next to the hand. So I can add Elemental Hero Bubbleman. Bubbleman has the ability that if I have no other cards in hand, which I don't, I can special summon itself for free. So three monsters really easily, uh, and now Vion can manage a hero to add a spell from the next one, or Palmerization from the next one. You're not going to use the Palmerization, however, you want as many spells as possible for the Treasure Panda I talked about earlier, and I'll explain that when I get. So you can link any two of them away into Isol. I actually think I put a Warrior in this deck to add off this, so I don't need to, that's fine. But now I can just use the effects to send once per turn four quick spells from my next to the graveyard. Moon, Mirror, Vine Sword, Fossil, and... Overdrive. The only one that matters is this, the others don't matter at all. And then we special summon a warrior with a level equal to the number of the quick spells we sent. So, four. And this is quite easy. We're just gonna get Armageddon Knight. Armageddon Knight says when it's summoned, you can send a Dark Fennec to the grave. So, Summoner Monk will go to the graveyard. Two level fours, make Degaris. So, Degaris says I can detach two and skip my next main phase to revive a monster in my grave in defense mode. Yeah, Summoner Monk. Which says I can discard a spell, special level 4 from the deck, discard polymerization, and I can get my second monk. I will need silver 4s on field for something else in a second. I can use the sword's effect now, banishing two warriors, doesn't matter which ones, and add back itself. And I can use the second monk's effect, they are once per turn, so I can only use them each once. Wow. To summon another level 4. That's a bold strategy, Cod. So I have the treasure panda out. So what treasure panda does, and this is, this is kind of the, the key to our combo, uh, it says you can banish up to three spells from your graveyard face down to special summon a normal monster from your deck with the same level in the number you banished. This effect is not once per turn. So we can banish one spell, summon any piece from our deck that's a normal monster, so it's not the head. That's insane. And we can do this over and over again. So this will get us four of the five pieces out of our deck um, and onto the field, which means we can use them for a link fodder. It, it solves two issues at once. Uh, this card is makes Exodia strategies like possible. Still not good, but possible. So now I'm going to XYZ these two here for King of the Fair Limbs. Uh, rank 4 says, like, once per turn, I can detach material and add a Reptile from next to my hand. So I can start getting into the Odoida cards. And I will add Noya. So Noya says, I can discard it to send any light Reptile from next to the graves. So I'll send a Curse. Uh, Noya also says, when it's summoned, I can add an Odoidic spell or trap from next to my hand. And Curse says I can tribute a monster I control to bring itself back, and then my opponent brings back a monster as well if they, if they want from their grave, and then I can bring back one other uh, Agdorotic. So I'll be able to tribute a monster bring both these back. This is important because uh, it lets me tribute Heratic Seal and special any dragon from the deck, which will come up in a bit. LP's banned, who can't use that. Wait, so how are you making her like Heratic Seal without dragons? Well, remember, this doesn't just summon. Vanillas. I mean, summon uh, Exodia Beast and summons any normal monster. So, oh. we will get to dragons that way. This can link four, and this will make Saryuja, which is also a dragon. Uh, and this combo actually doesn't do that much. It is simply serving the purpose of a way to clear these off the field and replacing it with a dragon. So now I can banish a spell. Doesn't matter which one, as long as we're keeping the Phoenix Blade in for now. And we can summon from our deck. And we can summon Flame Volt Guard. Uh, I think this is the only level one dragon tuner. Uh, the tuner actually doesn't matter, but it's easier. And theoretically, you can talk to five racks to keep going with this combo, although you don't actually need it. And now we can use these for Guard Dragon Pisty. Pisty says level four lower dragon monster, and once on the field, I can only summon dragons. But once per turn, I can also summon a dragon from my graveyard or banish to a zone that two link monsters point to. So both point here, so I can summon one here. And I'm just gonna let the guard. Uh, it's just a free body, that's all it is. I'm going to link two for Heretic Sphere, or Heretic Sphere of Heavenly Seals. 
I need this zone open. What this is going to do for us is says when it's tributed, we special any dragon from your deck, and its attack and defense are going to be zero. Um, its other effect does not matter to us. So now I need to add back a Divine Sword, so I have a discard for the Bro Tour. And I also need to get an Exodia piece on the field. So I'm going to activate the Treasure Panda, banishing the Herald's face down. Wait, I have a question. So Exodia needs to be, you know, in the hand on the field. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, yeah, the, why are you summoning, how? Like, it doesn't, you know, do you not know what Exodia says, right? <sighs> Sam, 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 my innocent child. <laughs> <laughs> um, treasure, so yeah, so we use Treasure Panda, we'll use it again, not once per turn, summoning the Zodi piece here, and we contribute it now for the Curse talk with earlier. So it'll come to the field, and both effects will activate. This is mandatory effect, so it has to be Chain Link 1. So Chain Link 1, and then Chain Link 2 revive, so this comes out. So this is basically like your Steam the Cloak, basically, the tribute stuff. Yes. Well, wow. You could also use Sword of Sparkles, if you saw our last video, mm -hmm. but this is more interesting and technically could extend you further in the combo as well, so it's also an extender. Mm -hmm. uh, it does require you to have level 4 starters to get into it, um, but it's not that hard to access either. So now we summon a new dragon, we're going to summon our Brotor. And Brotor says when it's special summoned, you can target any monster on the field, ours or our opponents, and then discard a card, not a cost, but just discard a card to add any monster from an extra hand with a different name with the same type and attribute. So we're going to target the Forbidden One piece here, and we can add any other Dark Spellcaster with a different name. So, so we get the head, because uh, otherwise... The, the what? The head of Exodia. The, the head? Let's not say the head of Exodia, the Forbidden One, Sharp Man, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, because this only summons normal monsters, we did need a way to get this out of the deck, This was, and this is easy enough. Fireball is our main way to get back the pieces, but it only adds back three. So we need a way to get, this, to get one more piece back to our hand, and easy enough. We can link these two away into Kashuk. So Kashuk requires two monsters with the same type, uh, except tokens. And when it's summoned, we can return monsters that it points to the hand. So That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So it returns this to the hand. That's ridiculous, and now we have bro. two pieces. Something to note is we could have added the Agdoidic spell off this to give us more monsters. But we don't need it, so... It's not necessary. Not necessary. Originally I had it in here, but it just doesn't matter, so... The Kashuk is another effect that we don't use, but could be cool, is that once per turn, you can declare a card, and then excavate the cards from the top of your deck, equal to the link rating of a monster it points to. And if you get the card you call, you add it to your hand. So I'm sure now, you kind of see, we have two pieces, we haven't used Firewall yet, we can get the other three off this. It's an easy Firewall combo. So one at a time, we banish our spells. All these equipped spells we got to summon pieces. The treasure panda is not once per turn. It's so broken. How come this card doesn't see any like meta meta plays? Uh, it requires you to play a lot of normal monsters in your deck. So, okay. and the only ones you can summon like consistent or that are worth summoning are level ones because you have, uh, obviously you have no benefit of summoning twos over ones, uh, except in maybe very specific niche cases. But I think mostly, you, for it to be good value, you have to play a, a, like a, a significant amount of normal monsters, which are not good to draw. I think the way it would see play is if they added pendulum level 1 normal monsters, mm -hmm. because it would mean that if you draw them, they have real effects. Mm -hmm. uh, they can have pendulum scale effects, but while on the field, they'll be vanillas. So it essentially means you can get the both best of all the normal support, like Enchanted Fitting Room, Treasure Panda, Unexpected Die, Painful Decision, and then they're also not useless in the hand or on the field, like right. traditional normal monster. Right. The benefit to these normal monsters is that they have Exodia synergies, but obviously playing five pieces of Exodia is not consistent in most decks, especially with all the hoops we have to get through. Four monsters, this gets banished after because of this, and we can summon our Firewall Dragon. Wait, isn't that card bent? Not anymore. So banish another Exodia piece, or another spell. We can summon our final piece. I'm going to do it one more time, and you just need a dragon from the deck to give you an easy arrow. And for fun, I use Akashic's effect, I'll, so I can call, so I mill four and I pick a card uh, beforehand, and if I mill that card, I can add them to my hand. I'm gonna call Blue-Eyed Shining Dragon. Mm -hmm. So let's do what I mill. Wow. I'll add all four Blue-Eyed Shining Dragons to my hand. This How is, is that possible? It's a joke, it's not necessary. <laughs> wait, is that a... Wait, you add all four of them if you call it, right? Like in... I think it adds all copies. If you call you it, activate right? any copies and declare a card, add them to your hand, yeah, and send the remaining to the grave. Is this a retro pack too? Yes. Wow, rich. Wow. Yeah, I collected them were a lot cheaper. <laughs> so yeah, easily enough. We just set up the arrows. It's not hard at all. 
Secure Gardena, and this becomes Linkaribo. These don't matter their effects. And you can make Secure Gardena, which just says one Cybers Link monster, and your arrows point in and down. So three arrows co linked with Firewall, which says. Wait, add back. wait, 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 before, before you do that, before you finish the final move, can you say something to me? Uh, please don't throw them in the ocean. No, not that. What does Kaiba say to Yugi? And the first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh, Jesse. What does Kaiba say to Yugi? Oh God! Um, no, draw it's right. your last pathetic card, right? Yes. So you need to say that line. But I'm not. I mean, I guess I'm a mix of the both here, but it's also <laughs> you I, have I to say that line all the hero right now. You have to say that line right now before you activate Firewall's effect. But wouldn't it be more like appropriate to say, "My deck contains no pathetic cards, Kaiba"? Draw your last pathetic card, Yugi, my so I can end you. <laughs> my deck contains no pathetic cards. Sam, <laughs> firewall effects. Add back one, two, three, and I have here. So let's arrange these. These are irrelevant now, throw these aside. Who cares about that? I've assembled all five special cards, all five pieces of the puzzle. What's a six piece? Is there a six piece? Wow! One card, Jesse, again! That's a bold strategy, Con. That is crazy! Bro, you're not even phased. It's like, like, bro, like, this is like, like, you, you do this in your sleep? Um, like, bro, like, you're not even- Good memory, I've been playing forever, so. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Guys, five piece of Exodia with one card. That is insane, Jesse. Wow, that, that's actually beautiful, man. Jesse, so do you have anything else you want to say before we end off this video, man? Um, yeah, so... If you're ever interested in improving the game, myself and other top level players run a coaching service on Patreon called Dwellst Academy. Thank you so much, Jesse, for coming on here to the show again. We're definitely gonna be doing more crazy videos like this. Guys, give Jesse a huge thumbs up. Check out the Duelist Academy in the link in the description box below. And Jesse, any last words? Uh, I guess let me know what cards you want me to summon next and I'll figure a way and I'll keep it fresh. Uh, next time I won't use ISOL. I'll make that a promise. All right guys, it's your boy Sam and Jesse signing off. Alright guys, peace.